If you are watching this on your phone right now without a cable plugged in, you owe a thank you to a 1940s Hollywood movie star and a team of astronomers looking for black holes. The story of Wi-Fi is one of the weirdest accidental inventions in history. It didn't start in a tech lab. It started during World War II with Hedy Lamarr. She was known as the most beautiful woman in the world, but secretly, she was a genius inventor. She created a guidance system for torpedoes that hopped between radio frequencies so the Nazis could end jam them. That concept, called frequency hopping, is the grandfather of the signal your phone is using right now. But having the idea was one thing, making it work for the internet was another. Fast forward to the 1990s in Australia. A team of scientists at the CSIRO was trying to detect exploding mini black holes in deep space. It was a failure, they couldn't find the black holes, but they realized the math they developed to clean up the cosmic radio waves was perfect for cleaning up computer signals bouncing off walls in a room. They took failed astronomy software and turned it into the high-speed Wi-Fi chip. By 1999, the technology was ready, but nobody cared until Steve Jobs did something dramatic. On stage at an Apple event, he took a hula hoop and passed it over a laptop while surfing the web to prove there were no wires. The crowd went wild. It was a magic trick that changed the world. Oh, and one last secret, the word Wi-Fi doesn't mean anything. It doesn't stand for wireless fidelity. A marketing company just made it up because it sounded cool. So you are using Nazi fighting torpedo tech, refined by black hole hunters, named after a nonsense word. And that is how the world got connected.